This tutorial describes the minimum configuration of the SCON servo controller. The setup is for a brushed DC motor with encoder feedback. The startup wizard, a tool from the SCON studio, allows to configure the servo controller with just a few steps. Connect the SCON servo controller to your computer by means of the USB cable. Open the SCON studio. The startup wizard opens automatically unless this option is deactivated. Apart from that, there are three different possibilities to start the startup wizard. Select just one. Read the safety instructions and confirm by selecting the checkbox. Press Next. The connected SCON server controller is detected automatically. A description and a photo of the device are shown. Press Next. Select the motor type. Maxon DC motor stands for the brushed DC motor used in our case. Press Next. Enter the motor characteristics. Consult the Maxon catalog for the motor data. Press Help or F1 for detailed parameter description. Again, Next. Enter the system data. The maximum system properties are limited either by the drive components or the application. Press Next. Select Digital Incremental Encoder as the speed sensor. Enter the encoder resolution in counts per turn. Press Next. Mode of operation. In our example, select Speed Controller Closed Loop with Inner Current Control Loop. Again, Next. Enable functionality. There are different possibilities available. In our case, we assign Digital Input 2 to the functionality and specify the polarity as High Active. Next, again. Define the type of set value. There are different possibilities available. In our case, assign analog input 1 to the functionality and specify a reasonable speed range. Press Next. Setting a fixed current limit. There are other options available as well. Specify the desired maximum value. Press Next. Speed ramp functionality. Again, there are different options available. Specify the desired maximum value for acceleration and deceleration independently. Press Next. There are different options available to set an offset functionality if required. And Next again. Free available digital inputs and outputs can be configured with additional functionalities. Next. There are additional functionalities available for the free analog inputs. Press Next. The free analog outputs can be configured as well. In our example, a fixed voltage is needed to supply the external potentiometer. Press Next. Set 4 volt as a fixed value for supplying the external potentiometer. And then Next. The configuration summary appears. Press the button Show Wiring Overview. On the wiring overview, you find the wiring information based on the configuration you have performed in the SCON Studio. Print or save this overview. The document will be helpful for the following wiring. For demonstration of the wiring, the module is mounted on the corresponding Maxon motherboard. Wiring of the set value by external potentiometer. Connect the external potentiometer according to the wiring overview. Use a potentiometer with 4.7 to 10 kilo ohm. Wiring of enable with external switch. Connect the external switch according to the wiring overview. Any commercial switch can be used. Connect the motor windings according to the wiring overview. Connect the encoder to connector J4. Make sure that the power source cannot be engaged while work is in progress. Connect the power supply according to the wiring overview. The complete system is wired and configured, and it is ready for the controller tuning. Tuning is described in a separate video tutorial.